Because they are ice-free, coastal polynyas are also oases of the Antarctic coastal ecosystem. They harbor many marine species, including plankton, fish, birds, and mammals. The polynya food chain starts with phytoplankton, such as marine algae. These tiny cells of plants live throughout the ocean, form the main source of food for zooplankton, krill, copepods, and other small animals that are consumed by fish and other larger animals. Phytoplankton require sunlight and nutrients to grow. With spring, the sun returns to the Antarctic. The sea ice pack shields the ocean from the sun, so it is the open waters of the polynyas that receive the first glimpse of light. It is here where phytoplankton first blooms. This attracts the zooplankton and fish, providing a rich harvest for marine predators. The openings in the ice also provide access to birds and mammals in the otherwise ice-covered seas. Thus, a diverse ecosystem is attracted to these Antarctic oases. How rich an oasis the polynya may be depends on the physical forces that shape its environment. As spring proceeds, ice melts away and the fresh, buoyant meltwater helps to keep the phytoplankton in the well-lit surface waters. But this process can be disrupted by other forces, such as ocean currents, strong winds, and motions of pack ice and icebergs. If a storm occurs, it could mix the surface waters, destroying the fresh, buoyant layer and mixing phytoplankton deeper where light can barely reach. For this reason, not all Antarctic coastal polynyas are equally favorable for phytoplankton growth. Polynyas are exposed to environmental conditions between two extremes, stormy, high mixing, low light and low growth conditions versus calm, low mixing, more light and high growth conditions. But polynyas are critical to life in the winter too. For Antarctic seals and penguins that forage underneath the sea ice during the winter time, coastal polynyas are one of the only areas where they can access the surface and breathe. 